Clear Basics, changing the way of learning. Please like, share and subscribe. Clear Basics, changing the way of learning. Please like, share and subscribe. Hello little friends, a warm welcome to all of you from our very own YouTube channel Clear Basic, changing the way of learning. Clear Basic family will together be a part of your successful journey and will also help you to enrich with all best possible contents in order to boost your performance. We all will accept a positive cooperation and response from your end. So please like, share and subscribe our channel for our latest notification and updates. Best wishes to all of you from our team clear basic friends i hope you all are doing well in this corona outbreak wash your hands regularly and wear masks and maintain social distancing stay at home to protect yourself so friends without any further delay let us start our session today in this video we will cover some topics of first chapter shapes and space first topic is inside and outside we will learn this topic by an interesting story of an arab and his camel friends now listen carefully let us now start the story it was a cold winter day the arab was traveling on the back of the camel at night the arab pitched his tent and went inside it and the camel was outside look at the picture here the arab is inside the tent and the camel is outside the tent as the temperature was falling outside the camel was feeling too cold so the camel asked the arab may i put my neck inside it is too cold outside the arab replied okay you may put your neck inside from this picture you can see that the camel's neck is inside the tent but it's the rest of body is outside the tent still the camel was shivering outside in the cold again the camel asked may i put my front legs inside it is too cold outside the arab replied okay you may put your front legs inside the camel again asked the arab can i come inside it is too cold outside the arab replied oh no the tent is too small for both of us so the camel told the arab that he would come inside and the arab would go outside the tent so friends can you tell me at the end of the story who is inside the tent yes you are right at the end of the story the camel came inside the tent and the arab was outside the tent friends you need to watch this complete video in order to understand the concepts clearly don't skip any part of this video and at the end of it there will be a surprise waiting for you friends let us watch and enjoy the video till the end now friends let us clear the topic in details with an animation let's enjoy the animation friends now let us observe the picture carefully we can see a pot there are some stones the stones are placed inside the pot friends now see the stones are inside the pot and we can see a flower at the right corner which is outside the pot friends now tell me which is outside the pot and which one is inside yes congratulations to all of you absolutely correct the stones are inside the pot and the flower is outside the pot friends hope you all have enjoyed this animation if you still have any doubt regarding this concept 
then I will clear it in my upcoming slide. In the animation, first we can see a bowl, some stones and a flower. Then let us put the stones one by one inside the bowl. Friends, can you tell me how many stones are present in the bowl? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, there are 10 stones inside the bowl. Now friends, can you tell me which one is outside the bowl? Yes, you are correct. The flower is outside the bowl. So friends, finally we have learned about the concept of inside and outside. So inside means within something and outside means out of something. Now friends, do some fun. Look at the picture. Take the one which is inside the house. Yes, you are absolutely right. The dog is inside and the cat is outside the house. Hope you had fun inside, outside. I will provide you more examples, interesting puzzles and worksheets in our FB and Telegram groups. So join our FB and Telegram groups. Link is in the description box below. Now friends, we move on another interesting topic. Friends, now we will learn how to compare different sizes together. Friends, let us try to find out from these pictures which one is bigger and which one is smaller. Look at the picture. There are two animals. Are they same in size? No, they are of different sizes. This is a hippopotamus, which is bigger than the mouse, whereas the mouse is smaller than the hippopotamus. In the next picture, we can see two leaves. First one is a banana leaf and second one is, is a tulsi leaf. Here, the banana leaf is bigger than the tulsi leaf. After this, we can see the picture of two animals. One is a rabbit and the other one is a cow. Now friends, can you tell me which one is smaller between them? Yes, the rabbit is smaller between them. Then comes to the picture of two tires. This is a truck tire and the another one is a car tire. Between the two tires, which one is bigger? Yes, the truck tire is bigger than the car tire. Now we will compare different sizes more than two objects. Friends, you can see there are three trees. Find out which one is biggest and which one is smallest. Friends, do you know what is the meaning of the smallest and what is the meaning of the biggest? Okay, let me explain first. What is the actual meaning of smallest and biggest? Smallest means small in size compared to the other objects. But friends, there is a point you have to keep in mind. So friends, listen very carefully. That we use the word smallest when there is a comparison among more than two objects. So friends, now look at the three trees in the picture. Can you tell me which one is smallest among the three trees? Yes, your answer is absolutely correct. The middle one is smallest among the three trees. Similarly, biggest is the opposite of smallest. Like the previous concept, I want to mention the biggest in the sense the object is big in size among the other objects. But friends, there is a point you have to keep in mind that we use the word biggest when there is a comparison among more than two objects. So friends, now look at the picture. Can you tell me which one is the biggest among the three animals? Yes, the elephant is the biggest animal 
among the three animals now friends let us move on towards the next topic our next topic is top and bottom friends look at the tree there is a bird and a cat the bird is sitting on the top of a branch of the tree but the cat is sitting at the bottom of the tree now friends let us come this picture there are three children playing in the park you can see this child is at the top of the slide and this child is at the bottom of the slide let us have some fun again friends i hope you all like to see different colorful birds flying in the sky let us have some fun again friends i hope you all like to see different colorful birds flying in the sky so friends find out which one is at the top and which one is at the bottom yes this bird is sitting at the top of the tree and the cat is standing at the bottom of the tree friends if you have not seen my previous video click in the i button on the top of the screen in order to check out for the best to best contents now friends let us proceed to our next topic friends here we can see a swing hanging from the branch of a tree and three children are running towards the swing i hope you have seen a swing in your nearby park and i hope you all like to ride the swing very much so friends can you tell me which of the child is nearest to the swing yes you guess the answer correct this child is nearest to the swing so friends can you guess again which of the following child is farthest from the swing yes your answer is absolutely correct this child is farthest from the swing now friends let's see which one is at the nearest of the tree yes this dog is nearest at the tree and which one is at the farthest from the tree yes this dog is nearest to the tree and this dog is farthest from the tree now guys it's time to reveal the surprise here you can see colorful butterflies flying around the beautiful flower so my little friends type your answer in the comment box below how many flowers and butterflies can be seen in the picture count and answer in the comment box in my next video i will discuss the answer with you thank you guys for your love and support we hope you all will be with us in this journey then we can definitely accomplish our mission Stay tuned with us to get the latest updates of our upcoming videos and don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe our channel. See you in my next video. Till then, stay tuned with us. Stay safe, stay well, go with clear basic. Thank you all for this session. If you want to be updated with the notifications, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.